welcome back to part 7 of LT Play's State of Mind. Uh, welcome back, guys. Uh, I'm going to be totally honest, full disclosure here. I'm trying to give this series a legitimate chance, <laughs> but it's making it very hard for me. So, uh, I'm going to keep going for a little bit longer, but uh, if I can't take any more, um, I'm probably going to end up stopping the game. I'm going to try and get to the end. Nothing, sir. Nothing, Nothing at all. Um, I'm gonna try and get it in. I'm gonna try and beat it. I'm gonna try and muscle through. I took a couple day break from it. I'm feeling a little better now. Um, I can understand why I get so upset whenever I pick the game back up. But you know, whatever, whatever. Uh, Jeff Kalowski, Kasowski, boom, 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 boom. I uh, cannot totally remember what I need to be doing here. What did she contact first? So I think. You know, I think what I need to do. Is I need to switch over to being Adam. Because I think I just. Yeah, I think I just switched. Just got done doing Richard's part. Now I'm going to do Adam's part. Wednesday, Adam Newman's apart. Look for new data, he says. But where? Oh, no. Hopefully I didn't mess that up. Okay, so I can switch at will now. Okay, these did start memories before. Why do they even have this in the game? I d <laughs> what? But is it called a magic piano? Hmm. note written on monday morning hi adams i'm so sorry i know i should really be at home this project is a hydra please take john to the clinic your accent has really upset him yes or i love you amy p.s i order nanny farm are you okay with that she'll be here by tomorrow let's call amy richard and lawyer and then we'll try hi amy adam where are you will you be taking the train i have a coffee break now sure Okay, I uh, learned a lot from that dialogue, as usual. Uh, later. Lawyer's probably Please just gonna put me on hold again. And connecting. Please connect. Please connect. Yep. Please connect. I think it's just gonna Please keep doing connect. this forever. Please connect. Look for clues. Well, this is broken in my apartment. Recommendations for this evening. Cream of lobster soup with sherry. Thai coconut soup with ginger and lemongrass. A simple noodle soup, just like the way John likes it. So is John here, or has he gone off to practice? His cloud hub should be locked. Yep. Same with his note. Set to private. He's still sleeping. Middle of the day. Luther over here. Still being a strong independent bear that don't need no man. What is this cloud hub? Yep, it's Amy's cloud hub. Mirror is a terrible mirror. Barely works. Doesn't even show me my face. I mean, nothing does, because... Of the game's potato image character images. Okay, let's look at my inventory. Data fragment one, data fragment two. Tracer. Nothing I can do with the tracer yet. Of City 5 security, but I don't even know how to contact it. Examine. Well, let's sit down. Surely, Would you like to listen to some music, Adam? Surely, if it's giving me this option, there must be a reason. Yeah. Okay. May I listen, Adam? Of course. I like this song.
I have a strange feeling. What? I think I have made a mistake. <laughs> if this is about the broken glass... No. It's about me. I don't work. Hmm. They will delete me. I won't even know what I have done. Whoa, what? Nobody will delete you, Sally. I promise. Now she's talking like she's in a program. She's becoming aware. I can't talk to her at all after saying that. Sally's looking forward to her new assignment. She will assist John in all facets of life. Okay. I mean, it was a good, good talk. I can no longer sit down, so that was something. Alright, let's... What does examine do? Oh, it just doesn't do anything useful. Okay, so we got the date book. Wednesday. Nanny for John arrives. Date with Amy at Liquid Sky. So I gotta go to Liquid Sky. And I should make another trip to the clinic. Okay, so Liquid Sky, trip to the clinic. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, team. Let's go. Oh, yo. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. City 5 Central, Wednesday Infinity Plaza. So, uh, I gotta take the train to get where I need to go for either location, actually. Or I could probably take a hover car. Let's see if I can take the hover car now. To the clinic to Liquid Sky. So, I'm gonna go to the clinic first. And then I got my date with uh, Amy at Liquid Sky. Alright, we're figuring this out, kids. Making progress. Look at that wonderful face. Face. So wonderful. Just breaking up. It's breaking up. It's breaking me up. Okay, City 5 Union Park, Tuesday, Kurtz Recreation Center. I need to go to the doctor today. I said I need to go to the doctor today. Plant? And this plant was named after designer Michelle Lede Leduc. Its distinctive form and color is the product of genetic engineering. Welcome to the Kurtz Recreation Center. Kurtz? Uh, has that been changed? I feel like it wasn't the Kurtz originally, maybe? Mr. Newman, can we help you? I'd like to speak with Dr. Sykes. The doctor is examining someone right now. I only have a couple of questions. Something's not right. Since the accident... I... I'm sorry, I cannot help you, Mr. Newman. Please come again tomorrow. Adam, great to see you back on your feet. Governor. Why is the governor concerned about? How do you feel? Hmm. I'm gonna say all good because he's got a trilby. Every day a little better. That's what I like to hear. Is there a problem here? No, no. I wanted to visit Dr. Sykes, but he doesn't have time for me. Then he must make the time. This accident should never have happened. Not in my city. I'm taking this personally. Tell Sykes to take care of this man immediately. Uh, I have to go. Get well, Adam. Why Thank are you, you here, sir. Kane? Excuse me, Mr. Newman. Dr. Sykes is expecting you in Cognition Unit 2, Holloway A01. Okay, all right. Owner of Infinity Technologies, philanthropist, and world citizen. <laughs> Artwork. All right, already lost. But here's 82. Does nothing. 81 does something. I guess. If I just walk and then stop, he like freaks out. Okay. Yes, got that right. Still having <coughs> trouble, Newman? Come, let's put you through the scanner. Oh, this will be fun. Just kill me, why don't you, Sykes? Psych! See what I did there? I thought that was. So, there we go. Please lie down and relax. Relaxed? Not no. at all. <laughs> it's just scanning. I'll leave you here for a couple of minutes. Stay where you are. There's a certain irony in trying to become relaxed. Wait or stand up. Yeah, I'll keep trying to wait. I think it's just going to keep telling me to wait. I don't think there's a way to do the wrong options on this game. 
And it's another thing that I dislike about it is it gives you options, but the options never actually mean anything. No access. Access denied. A toaster? Eric, put your retro garbage somewhere else. This is supposed to be a hospital, not some hipster kitchen. Note from Daniel. All, if you notice, and this is also frustrating in the background stuff, all of the outfits look exactly the same and look like the same outfit that I saw in the closet back when I was looking for Tracy. User Valerie Von Stahl. User Julia Thib. Access to information denied. Please contact the team member of Point Port. But it says I can use it. Alright. Discovering some more memory fragments. What the is that? Sykes My is gonna come up memories behind me. Car crash. Where are they? These are Richard's memories. That's Tracy from Richard's records. And this. I've never seen this before. Doctor sights come up behind me and kills me. Ooh. This is getting trippy, man. Got another memory fragment. Alright. Let's walk through this. This is so bizarre. Oh yeah, that's right, I have to upload it to Richard, and then Richard has to send it back to me to use. I don't think I can leave yet. I think it's just gonna tell me to get back in the machine. Damn it, he's coming. Oh, did I get it in time? I don't think I have a choice. I think I have to be seen walking around. Okay, finally. I was like, is he ever gonna come back? Jack? Good. You may get up now. Sounds so sinister. Your personal GP, health advisor, you and friend. You didn't touch my equipment, did you? No. No, I didn't. Hmm. Then let's have a look. <laughs> Why would he just automatically suspect it? Hmm. Is, uh, is something wrong? Hmm. Hmm. What? Do you see or hear things that shouldn't be there sometimes? Not that I know of. No. Are you sure? Yes. I'm sure. Hmm. You did the right thing coming here, Newman. Basically, everything is okay, but your scan has a couple of blemishes. Some doubling, so to speak. What? Like, uh, schizophrenia? Well, it's too early for a diagnosis. At the moment, I can only give you this advice. Go home and stay there. I'll inform ah. your employer and contact you as soon as we have examined the scan properly. And please, don't be worried. Worried. I know. Thank you. Well, you know what I'm not doing? Going home. I gotta go see Amy. I'll probably end up triggering another memory fragment. May I ask you a personal question? It's about John. What about him? I should probably keep out of it, but... Uh, is he getting the attention at home that he needs? Well, his mother is hardly there, and I had the accident, so... Why do you ask? Your boy is somewhat withdrawn. It would be good if he opened up a little. Opened up? I really shouldn't get involved. I am sure you're good parents. 
Safe trip home, Newman. This guy is so but creepy. If there are any problems with John, whatever they may be, you can call us at any time. Well, why would there be problems? It's okay, Newman. I just want to help. Safe trip home. He just ran into the door. The door didn't open when he triggered it. The cutscene. Ah, jeez. Alright, time to exit. Time to exit. I'm a go and I'm an exit. Who's that standing for me on the I bridge? need to send Richard the data. I know I need to send Richard the data. You don't gotta tell me how to live my life, Adam. Uh oh I can't leave Amy waiting. I dude, I know both of those things actually. I've got other things to do. Oh would they okay. I gotta go to Liquid Sky. Even though the doctor told me to go home, I ain't gonna listen to him. Whoa. -ho. I'm going on a date. We're going on a date in a walking simulator. Going on hey. a date. It's Charlie. Hey, I found your tracer thing. Okay. You can run, Adam. So, I'm looking for Tracer Guy and Amy. Adam! Over Found here! Amy. Uh, I didn't see Amy. I don't think I found... I don't think Tracer Guy is gonna end up being here. I think I'm gonna look all I the can't way... can't leave Amy waiting. <sighs> Adam? I'm trying to go over to Amy, but... Based off how it does the view, it makes it really hard. Okay, Amy. Hello, Adam. You look you stressed. Look tired. <laughs> ah, okay. What is happening right now? This is honestly the most awkward Let's thing go. I've seen in my life. We'll go Have you seen a technician around here somewhere? No, why? Something broken? Nah, don't worry. Okay, I'ma just follow you. You remember Lun. She designed the hole. Well, not alone. Yeah, and everything isn't done yet, and it's all a mess. How does this work? What do we have to do? Turn your brain off. What? Perfect. Just what we need. Where did he go? Sir? The man. The technician. City 5 services. I didn't see a technician. He must have come through here. Or... You must be confused, Mr. Newman. It's creepy, they all know my name. You put that nicely. <laughs> well, perhaps a consequence of the accident. Everybody knows. Mental blackouts can be a source of danger. You should visit your personal doctor. These technicians, what are they doing exactly? Trying to find the cause of the geohazard. I see. How do you know about my accident? From the bot network. All biography relevant data is saved to the network. Biography relevant? What exactly happens to all the data? <laughs> Nothing you need to be concerned about. That's a We exclusively use information that helps us to help you. For example, assume you had lost a life-threatening amount of blood due to your accident. The emergency bots would have known your exact blood type and immediately called for the correct blood to be delivered. Did you know that since the introduction of the bot network, the number of life-threatening accidents has been reduced to almost zero. No, I didn't know that. I'm happy to be of service, sir. Have a nice day, sir. It's still so creepy. Oh, I can keep talking. Have a nice day, sir. It has to be told to have a nice day, so... And then I can't talk anymore. All right. Oh, I can talk to Lun. You don't really know why you're here, huh? I basically feel the same way. And that's why you do this. We have to make this city our own, do we not? Adam, where are you? <sighs> He's here to monitor. 
How's John? Hard to tell. He never speaks. Because of the accident? I don't know. Or is it the clinic? No idea. He won't say anything. Wonder who he gets that from. <laughs> okay. Change horizon. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Have you seen Dr. Sykes again? Yeah, Amy but I'm you. considering looking for another doctor. Getting on your nerves already? Yeah, that too. <laughs> so, evidently... It's, so that was Horizon. I adjust, Over here I adjust the sphere. Mind you, it, it does have a bit of an effect on the atmosphere. Change sound objects. Yeah. No. So? What's going on? Why did you want to meet up? You were so tense before. Is everything okay? I really have no idea. Yes? I'm trying to hear okay. their conversations. <laughs> what would you say if... <sighs> Don't worry. It, it's crazy. Is it about the accident? No. Not just. You're overwhelmed. I no. Can place sounds. So what is it? I sometimes... I sometimes get this feeling. I don't know how to describe it. Sometimes get this feeling... Like deja vu? Exactly like deja vu. Well, then you know how to describe it. Just imagine someone tells you that your life Everything is nothing more than some sort of imagination, a, a fallacy. Someone told you that? No, it's just... Who said that? Uh, nobody. It's just a hypothetical, but imagine if somebody came up to you and said just that. What would you do? What would you say? This is really eating you up, huh? <laughs> These levels are no longer connected up here, I'm just going. How far up can I go? Are they going to keep talking, or are they not going to talk? Huh, that was kind of cool. It just drops little sound bots. I think I know that feeling. I you know, know it? That of course. Feeling. Sometimes I think I've gone mental. Or I'm dead. Okay, I mean, that was the throw in there. Look at where we are, both of us, in this space, in this city. I say that because they are all dead. If they're in here been uploaded and then killed off. I guess it's kind of cool, but I this is not like a central gameplay mechanic. Oh my gosh. When I was a kid, my brothers locked me in a box. Ah, uh, that's pretty. They wanted to know how long up. I would survive in there. I panicked, of course. Everything was pitch black, and I bash the lid and I cry. And the whole time, I have that feeling that something's crawling up my neck. But then there's that tiny crack of light, and when I put my hand into the light, it begins to glow. As if it wasn't my hand anymore. I just get a little, little exactly. trippy. Exactly. And I remember what I thought. If I could completely become the light, transform myself until I was nothing but light, then I would be able to get through the crack. So she chose to do drugs most of her life as Tracy. Oh, jeez. A bubble. Sure. Am I gonna become a bubble now? Dude. Oh, there's a bubble inside. There's a bubble in me. There's a bubble in you. Oh, oh, oh there's a bubble to see and do. Why is that one green? Okay. 
I'll tell you what I would do, Adam. I'd sit John on my lap, and to your somebody, I'd say, if this isn't real, then to hell with everything. Reality wants to kill us all, painfully and slowly, and without any point. But we have found Fuck. the loophole, and we escaped. Something like that is what I'd say. Okay. So it's just making us sit here and slowly listen to this conversation. But I've got this feeling. I can't fight it anymore. I've got this feeling. Pretty sure the I've got this feeling is part of a song, but I can't remember the song. So. Well, okay. No, the hint at this is because when you went to be uploaded to the Mars program, it just killed you. And so because it just killed you, you are dead. And so she's like, it feels like you're not alive. And it's a hint at the fact that you're not. And I think they think they're being coy about it. They are not being coy. And I think I've seen everything I'm supposed to see here. She's just supposed to talk about how... Amy is just willing to accept the fact that they're in this simulation, or Tracy as Amy is willing to accept that they're just in a simulation. Imagine a song. A Nerva. song with just a few notes. Nerva, don't you Restraint tell me how in my life. and stirring. Looping and fluctuating. Emergence of light. Iridescent and changing. A heightened state. Continual, lasting, peaceful. Welcome to the city of the future. Your city. Look around. Let yourself free. Everything is possible. Nothing is out of reach. It's the city of the future, but we're here now. Then that already telling us it's false. What's that Experience orange light? Experience the variety, the change, the magic. It's in the upper left-hand corner. Be left -hand part of it all, and be yourself, or be whoever you want, and what you want. Doubt and limits are just illusions. Because it's a virtual world. Enjoy. Welcome to the capital. Don't you have to go back to work? Mm, yeah. I should return to the dome. The governor will be waiting. Hey, I could come visit you there tomorrow. So just pass uh, now, Cutsy. Well, you would need security clearance first. Maybe after we're done with Project Independence, okay? Sorry, Amy. I'm getting my laps in. So, I just want you to know that. I'm getting my laps in. Around and around and around and around we go. Ho, ho, ho. We should do this more often. Yeah. Hair, I like running in circles. We're literally married. Why don't we just leave together? Oh, you got to get back to Fortnite. Right, right, right. It hadn't even sat all the way down yet. Did you guys see that in the back? Oh, it's falling down now. Where's the technician? Because you know now I see him. Gotta call Richard. Boo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Technician. There he is. What did I say? I'm gonna run outside, and I'm not gonna be able to meet him. Oh, it's just having him just run it without me. And he's spazzing out. Now, the memory fragment, what the hell just like I on? said. Yeah, yeah. Go, oh, dude. What did I get myself into? 
I should send it to Rich. Richard. Yeah, you got two memory fragments to send to Richard now, big guy. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. And I'm surprised that it sent me all the way to home, okay? All right. Oh, get in my office. Okay. Gotta call Richard. Not now. What do you mean, not now? You just got two more memories. It's the whole time. That is the only time you call. <sighs> Scan complete. Object ID recognized. Object sent successfully. Okay. Now I gotta play through it. Berlin Central, say January 15th, 48, Richard Owens Park. January 44, Sector 56, Manhattan, Soho, so four years ago in New York. Leave this environment to decipher the data. Um. Damn. That's pretty cool. Dang it, went too fast. Okay, that looks better. There! I should upload it immediately. Got this feeling. Okay. Nice. Now I gotta switch over. Do it again. Oh, he's calling. Hello? You will oh, see Richard. Gone. John? Damn, what are you doing here in the cloud call? Does Adam know? No. Listen, you wouldn't be allowed here. You'll get in trouble. I just want to talk to you. Of course. It's nice to meet you. I also... I also have a son. His name is James. Can I say hello to him? Well, you know, James and his mother aren't in right now. Are they together? I think so. Then James will be happy. For sure. Where did they go? I'm not certain. Do you miss them? Oh yeah, I miss them a lot. I miss my mom. Yes, I, I heard she's got a lot going on at the moment. John, what are you doing? I wanted to talk to Richard. I, I can't believe it. And he, he's letting it happen too. Hey, hey, relax, he just wanted to- You keep out of this, in your room. We will talk about this later. to black over to Adam the whole game is one giant cinematic that it forces me to participate has sent you data. No, no, no. enough go to your room damn this is true I don't know if it's glitched or what 2044 four years ago because it's currently 2048 uh, in the games world you have new cloud messages. Oh, no. Your parents? You'll have to call them back eventually. Eventually? Ooh, Lydia. I have to go finish my term paper now. What? No. What? What is that? That's, that's not real. It's a, that's not me. Again, it has not told me anything about this, so I don't know what is this she is. Awake? Barely, but she shouldn't see us. Something's wrong. I had Let to try be, and darling. keep this in here for three seconds. Don't fret. You're, what's wrong? Is she scared? Scared? Of what? Heart rate's good, blood circulation. We're pumping her brain full of nano liquids, and she's scared. I don't get it. I'm increasing her sulfuride dosage. Must be some strange fear of death. <laughs> Everything okay, Jeff? Yo, I don't know what is happening, right? I wonder, if things go south, which one of them will get a gravestone? The original or the copy? The one with 40% of the brain or the one with the other 60%? The plan's to get rid of gravestones, Jeff. Should we abort? 
hope Dr. Kurtz knows what he's doing. Or else, I can hear you. God damn it, Ray. Sorry. How's the session going? <sighs> Lousy. The investors demand results. Or else they'll switch off our lights at the end of this quarter. Excuse me? God, I hate these people. <laughs> I offer them immortality, and they ask for a price. 55%. Who's the donor? A student. Lydia Craig. A runaway. Homeless. No family ties, no friends. <laughs> Her brain's being overwritten, and she's scared. Odd. <laughs> Something you want to ask me, Jeff? Same as yesterday. What's going on in Section 1? Jeff, are we building a super AI? Look, I can't tell you everything. It's too important. You must be patient. Sure. How many times have I heard that line already? We will change humanity. We will deliver them. Deliver? How? All we make here are zombies and terrible robots. It's sick what we're doing here. Humanity is sick, Jeff. We are gonna heal it. Drought, riots, terrorism, a never-ending war on resources. Those aren't warning signs. They're symptoms. This world has been beyond hope for a long time, but we're the only ones to admit it. We're building a lifeboat. A lifeboat? Do you really think this arm saved my life? Feels like there's lead in my muscles, like chronic tendonitis. We can't even get a damn prosthesis right now. Suddenly we're doing brain transfers? The arm is your mess, not mine. Hey! <laughs> now she's wide awake. Increasing sulfuride to 90. But those eyes went wide, that's terrifying. Attention. This is the final call for passenger Diane Park. Just close your eyes. Fight it. Fight it. I don't think I'm gonna win this one yet. Train to New York has arrived. Boarding will begin shortly. You have new cloud messages. Well, uh, Miss Craig, this is Mr. Minsky of the Ferthing and Sons Funeral Home. Uh, once again, concerning the cost of your parents' cremation, you've already been made aware that as the last surviving dependent, you're liable to pay. It will extend your period of payment until December 12th. Should you ignore us any further, we'll pass the case on to our law firm. Uh, yes, but uh, you know how to contact us. And once again, my deepest condolences. No new cloud messages. The doors are closing. Please stand clear. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. You kind of lost me now. Lydia was Richard's flame. And? She's breathing. She made it, Ray. Blood circulation, heart frequency, all neural patterns have been transferred. Cellular structure. Oh. What? What is it? Her cells are rejecting the implant. Meaning? There are tumors forming all over her body. There are Congratulations, tumors. doctor. Your lifeboat's riddled with cancer with a life expectancy of three and a half years. The investors will be thrilled. Jeff, Jeff, why so uninspired? Don't you see? This is it. The next stage will end all of our problems. The next stage. Hush now, darling. Don't be scared. Just a few more tests. Make sure she so won't weird. remember us. Then set her loose in the city. Oh, God, this is so weird. Uh, Jeff, may I talk to you for a second? Jeff Kosowski, I believe, is one of the good guys now. I'm trying to fight this thing. Oh, and just above that they don't see is the other body. So I think that's a robot body that's put off in her place, maybe? I don't know. Weeks later. Queens, 
Friday, January 29th, 2044. What is this place? Do I... Do I know it? And now I'm playing as Lydia. Dumpster. Look for something edible. Sure. I'm glad that there are lights on inside of the dumpster. <coughs> Automated waste reception. Danger status zero. I should have probably checked the danger status before checking it for food. But, uh, hot dog vendor. Come here, boy. Oh, give me some uh, hot dog. Uh, hi. Listen. I am hungry. What? Could I? You got no money or what? No. Then get lost. He's a nice guy. I'm just asking everybody for money. Hello? Hello, is somebody there? Go away! Stop bugging me! Stop bug out! Oh. Walking down Main Street, I pick the stuff. King. No vacancy. No vacancy! Excuse me? Uh, hello, could you please open up? Get lost, or I'll call the cops! Hey, you got a few credits for me? Sorry, I got nothing. And police lot. Which I should probably just go right through. Nope, can't. Looks a bit menacing. Uh, I won't be getting scared with that thing. So that's the nano scanners. Yeah, but a ticket for the colony? It can't be that bad. What's there to do on Mars? Nothing. But you're not going to Mars. Being scanned and then killed off. Here's one of the robots that looks like a person. But it's really a robot. I mean, the face doesn't look like a person. No soliciting. Stuart Johnson, Davis. Hello? Please, can someone please help me? Richard responds. Fine, fine. I'm coming already. No need to scream, okay? <coughs> halt! Do not move! Oh no. I haven't done anything. What are you doing here? Where are you going? I... Officer, she's visiting. Is she now? ID, please. Davis, Angela. ID 245-432, Sector 57, West Queens. You live here? Yes. Come in, sweetie. Can I go? Yes. <laughs> Idiots. I'm glad everybody has such great relations with the authorities in this time, but... Whatever. Hey, what happened? What, what did they want? I can't take this anymore. I just can't. Should I... make a call? I just can't. I don't know if they're related okay. or friends or what. Okay. Come in first. Ugh. You look terrible. What's your name? Lydia. Okay. Lydia. I'm Angela. So, what's going on? What are you doing here? I have to rest. You can't go home? <sighs> live on the street hmm. let me get you something to drink I believe Angela was a friend of Richard's wife Tracy better much better okay talk to me or uh, would you rather rest up first can I take a look around of course go for it yeah just steal from my apartment Made in the Robotextile facility, Bangladesh. An unknown, uh, unidentified owner, Jason Rodkin, rescinded his rights to ownership. So it's not his anymore. The voice. You two have it nice here. Us two? I thought because of the jacket. He moved out. Oh, it's Jason's. He moved out last summer. Damn it, why do I know this already? I 
just kept the jacket because, well, actually, I don't know why. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Know. It's fine. I'm happy he's gone. Taking out the trash, Angela. Taking care of yourself. Taking care of yourself. <coughs> Oof, that Great doesn't son. sound good at all. Well, I'm it's riddled with fine. cancers, it just so. It hurts a little. Hey, you don't happen to have any painkillers for me? Yeah, there are some in the bathroom. Just ask, ask, ask. By all means. I like how she's not even like, please, can I have some? It's like, do you have some for me? Oh, yeah? Oh, okay, then go ahead. <coughs> oh, God. What's wrong, sweetie? You should see a doctor with that kind of cough. No, 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 I'm fine. Doesn't have any money. Kind of part of being homeless. That could be your boyfriend. Is that Jason? Yes. He looks nice. You can have him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need him either. Really? You got someone? Oh, well, you're in love. Something like that. <laughs> oh, come on, that's great. <laughs> he doesn't know. Richard. And he's married with a kid. Maybe you know him. Me know him? Hmm. Now I'm curious. I saw that you have a picture of him lying around. You're kidding. Wait, I'll show you the picture. You're tired, huh? We're just interacting you sleep with everything. Last night at the old subway entrance on the street. And where will you stay tonight? Do you want to stay here? I just need a little rest. <laughs> you don't say. Listen, you're completely exhausted. You're staying here. But I. No discussion. <laughs> you can sleep on the couch. You're not allowed to ask. Girl, you just. You're staying here. Mm. All right, well, that's going to be it for LT uh, Play State of Mind Part 7. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you next week. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. It helps out a great deal. While you're down there, make sure to click subscribe and click the bell uh, notification icon, so that way you're always updated whenever I come out with new videos. Come out with new videos for you guys every day, so you always got more reason to stop in, and I couldn't think of a rhyme that time. But you guys have a good one. LT out.